Hi there, welcome to the Moore Park City Library. My name is Carol, and today we are going to show you how to repurpose those t-shirts that you may have cleaned out of your closet at the beginning of the year, making room for brand new t-shirts. Um, we repurposed our t-shirts into no-sew t-shirt totes, which is great for small things you wanna carry with you, extra books you wanna carry with you, crafty items, or even just carry it to the market for an extra bag to throw things into. So this is a sturdy bag out of more of a cotton material. We chose not to have fringe on the bottom and we have the graphic on the outside. You can also just leave the graphic on the inside, whatever you prefer. And then we have this tote, which has a little fringe on the bottom. It's a lighter material, which is also mixed with a little bit of spandex. So the more items you put in here, it's gonna get a little stretchy. So we wanna keep that in mind if you want something more sturdy or something a little stretchy. Um, and either way, you can add fringe or no fringe. This fringe also has a little bit of embellishment that we started, which is some beads. And again, it's all your preference because it's your item. And now we will get started on how to cut your t-shirt so that you can form a no-sew t-shirt bag. This is a larger t-shirt, which is recommended only so that you can have a lot of room for things. But again, you can choose a smaller shirt size so that you carry less. It's a preference. Anyway, let's get started by folding our t-shirt. In half, you wanna line up your sleeves because we are going to start forming our handles by cutting off the sleeves. You're going to cut just above the hemline there. Just like this. And it's going to be a little ragged and that's okay. It's supposed to be. And you're just cutting just above the hemline. There we go. Getting to the end there. You can also choose to cut your sleeves off one at a time. We just toss them to the side, decide if we want to use them later for more embellishment. And then here is your t-shirt. And we want to start on the hole that is your slot to put things through. You have two choices. You can use a bowl to define more of a circle pattern that will have a closed, closed up section or you can make it a more oval by just freehand cutting your hole for a little bit more room. So we are just gonna cut this quickly so that you can see what it will look like once we're there. All right. And there we go. We have our opening and our sleeve and our handles started. Next, you want to be able to define your bottom and decide if you want fringe on the inside or the outside. So what I did was I started our fringe here on this shirt so that you could see that we decided on the size of our bottom by taking some tape and putting it straight across the bottom. And that's where we're gonna cut our fringe so that you can, that's our line for our fringe. So while you're cutting, you would just cut up to that line. Your fringe is about an inch apart or more like half an inch. It's your decision how big you want it. It just goes across your line 
And again, you can either, you can use tape or you can use a marker that is washable and just draw your bottom of your bag in order to design where your fringe is going. Your option here is to start tying your fringe together top to bottom. And just takes a second to just kind of push it through just a knot. Not a real tight knot, not double knot, just a quick little knot. Just like that. And as you do that, your bag will start taking form. And you're going to find that there's a little bit of a hole in between these spots. So what you're going to do is take two ends and tie them together like that. And that will fill in your hole. And then when you're ready, you, you can either keep your bag with the fringe or you will be turning it inside out so that there won't be the fringe showing on the outside. And there you would have your no sew tote bag. And then if you wanted to embellish your sleeves a little bit, you can take your extra pieces and just tie a little bow or knot at the top of the shoulder of your bag. So it adds a little bit of a little definition to your handle. So look a little bit different. Here's with just the, the handle as it is, and here's a little bit of embellishment. And you can use other materials to do that as well. All you need for this project is your t-shirt, good pair of scissors, a marker or some tape, and if you need to, a bowl from your kitchen to define your opening. And there we have your no sew tote bag without fringe or your tote bag with fringe. Thank you for joining us at the Moore Park City Library.